Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with Dev Central, and we are bringing you another Lightboard lesson video. Today we're going to talk about bot protection. And I've seen statistics that show upwards of 40% of all internet traffic is automated bot activity. And while some of that's good, a lot of it's bad, and so you need to figure out a way to block that bad uh, automated bot activity coming in you know, to your website. So I'm going to draw a little picture up here and explain this solution that has been developed between F5's Shape Security and then a company called Fastly, which is an edge cloud provider uh, that gives you the, the, the control that you need as well as the speed that you're looking for uh, with this edge platform, this edge compute uh, you know, platform. So, okay, you've got uh, over here, I'll put origin servers uh, that, you know, that host your web application, right? So here are your origin servers that people are coming to access, you know, to get to that awesome website that you have, right? Uh, and over here you have the users and some of these users are good, some of these users are bad and we're trying to figure that out, right? Because some of these are malicious bots and you want to stop them and some of them are legitimate, you want to let them through. All right, what Fastly does is, I'm going to put Fastly right here. Fastly provides, like I said, this edge uh, cloud platform. So I'm going to put a few little, uh, what I'm going to call points of presence right here. Uh, Fastly calls these uh, shields, by the way. So I'll say Fastly Shield, right? And each one of these would be a Fastly Shield, which again is like a, it's like a point of presence um, that fronts your origin server. So as a user comes in, uh, then you can make them go through a certain Fastly Shield um, or, or not. You can configure a lot of stuff here. So uh, among other things, these are points of presence, but also they do a lot of caching. They talk to one another. So you can imagine this Fastly Shield, you know, provides that edge, um, you know, that edge cloud uh, platform that, you know, that, that you're looking for. All right, so whenever, whenever a request comes in for your origin server with this Fastly uh, platform in place, uh, a request will come in here, so HTTP request to a Fastly Shield, and then the Fastly Shield, if it, has the, uh, if it has the data already cached in it, then it will just respond from the Shield. Uh, if it does not, then it will send it on back to the origin server, and then the origin server will respond, of course, and then it will cache it, and then it will send it on. But it can also alert the other Fastly Shields, like, hey, this is, uh, this is the data that you need to know for this specific origin server, right? All right. So that's kind of a typical flow of, of how the user interaction will work with this Fastly Shield in place. Uh, but there's more to it now, of course. So we, have, we also have the shape security features that are added in here to give you that security uh, that you need. So I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna put shape over here. So I'll put like the, the shape cloud, right? And there are you know, multiple instances of that running to do awesome shape security stuff. Um, one of the cool things about how Shape Security works is it's got uh, JavaScript that it caches at these Fastly edges. So I'm going to put uh, I'm going to put JavaScript right here. JavaScript from Shape is cached at the Fastly edge. So as a user's HTTP request comes in, this JavaScript is going to be delivered back to the client. And as the client runs through that JavaScript, then what shape, the, what the shape security is going to be able to do is collect a lot of data about the nature of the, of the end device here. So that's things like uh, the hardware that's being run, the environment that it's running in, uh, any kind of deception techniques that might be in play here. You know, if it says, hey, I'm a, you know, I'm a Google Chrome browser, but you're not really. Or, hey, I'm an Apple iPhone, but you're not really. Uh, that kind of thing. It's going to collect a lot of that. Um, user behavior, so you know, is this, is this normal user behavior? You're, move, you're moving your mouse like all sporadically weird. No one, no one would possibly ever do that kind of thing. So it's, it's a lot of stuff like that. There's much, much more to it that this JavaScript collects about the nature of the end device. Uh, one thing I would point out is that it never collects personally identifiable information or PII about the end user, right? Um, so, as this JavaScript is delivered back to the client device and the client device runs this JavaScript, then the shape security features are going to be able to determine uh, whether this is a legitimate end user or not, right? 
And one of the things that has been introduced uh, recently with this shape solution is this, uh, this feature called a quick check. So I'm going to put uh, quick check right here. So it's quick check, right? And the quick check is, uh, is a, effectively a feature where shape is going to be able to very quickly determine, that's why it's called quick check, quickly determine if the end user is legitimate or not. And if it is legitimate, if this is like, hey, we know that this is a legitimate user, then the quick check is going to say, you're good to go. Um, and then the, the request is going to be able to come on back to the origin server or coming back to the Fastly Shield, the way it operates, is it may just send, a, send the response from cache out of the shield. But nonetheless, the quick check will alert Fastly at that point, hey, you can respond now. So whether it's an origin server or a cached response, nonetheless, the response is going to happen like very quickly like that, right? Um, so that's a really cool thing. It makes me think about like if you go to the theme park and you got a whole crowd of people coming up to ride the ride and the one guy's like, hey, I got that fast pass and he just gets to go right to the front, you know, and just bypass everybody else. Uh, then that's kind of like what this is, right? It's the fast pass right back to the, uh, the data, you know, that you're looking for. All right. If the quick check fails, though, if a user's request comes in, it's going to run through the quick check. If the quick check fails, then it will be sent on to a deeper analysis here in the shape cloud, kind of the second level analysis, if you will. And then it will run through a, a more exhaustive list of checks to determine if this user is legitimate or not. And then if it is legitimate, then, then it will be sent back to the origin server or like I said, the Fastly Shields cache response will be able to, to go ahead and go through. Um, if it is not determined to be legitimate after that secondary check, then it's blocked. And so again, that's, that's kind of the whole point of what we're trying to do here. Remember, a lot, of these, uh, you know, a lot of these requests are coming from malicious bot activity and you want to know if you need to block these things or not. I would point out that regardless of what you do in terms of edge, cloud, you know, computing or platform or whatever, you're going to need to run some kind of a security check against all of these requests coming in. And so while this is a two-step process, um, it's, it's kind of cool actually that it is a two-step process because of this quick check. It's a very, very fast response uh, to know that, hey, this is a legitimate user, let them in. So really, um, so that takes care of a large percentage of your legitimate users. They, they see a much faster response rate, uh, but it's also a very secure interaction between legitimate user and backend server. Uh, so a, a smaller percentage of legitimate users are going to need to go through that secondary check. But what's more important is almost 100% of the malicious bad users are going to go through all this only to fail in their attempt to come and maliciously attack your web servers. So, uh, so this is just a really cool partnership between Shape Security at, at F5 and Fast, Fastly. Uh, edge cloud platform. So this, you know, while, while, you know, security and speed tend to be competing elements against one another in most environments, most solutions, you know, these are competing forces. Here, they actually are working together to give you the control and the speed that you want from this edge platform, but also the security that you're looking for from uh, the shape security features here. So, uh, so really cool, powerful solution. I uh, hope you've learned a couple of things about how all this works. So thanks for watching this Lightboard lesson video with us today. Hey, if you like this thing, you can click up here on our Dev Central logo and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll see you guys out there in the community.